What's up fellow reef fanatics? Today we talk about the Kenya tree. Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk, where each week I share advice to help you become a more successful reef keeper. If this is your first time checking out the channel, please click that subscribe button below to be notified every time I post a new video. Before we dive into this week's Coral for Beginner, I've launched my very own Patreon page. So if you'd like to support the Coral Reef Talk, you can head over there and pledge any amount and this will help me to continue creating these videos for you along with exclusive content for my Patreon supporters. In today's video we're talking about the Kenya tree coral. This coral is classified as a soft coral and does very well under a variety of different types of lighting. Indirect water flow is fine and moderate lighting works great for this coral. Too much light and the coral will let you know that it's unhappy. And if you have just the right amount of light the coral will be fully extended, the polyps will be open and out, and it will look much like this right here. This coral does have symbiotic algae and benefits from good lighting. However, it enjoys getting a lot of its food from your water column, like phytoplankton. The reason for this is that the Kenya tree coral is usually found in more nutrient rich waters. With their polyps they can capture food particles that are floating around in the water column as well as absorb dissolved organic matter. Now with fish swimming around in your tank the waste that they will produce will be plenty to keep this coral healthy. The Kenya tree is a soft coral so it does not have a calcium carbonate skeleton like your LPS or your SPS. Because the Kenya tree is a soft coral it can handle many of those parameter swings especially the ones related to calcium and other swings that you may have if you're first starting out in this hobby. So if you're ready to add coral to your tank then the Kenya tree coral is a great place to begin. It can grow quickly add motion to your tank as it sways in the current, and as you continue to learn how to maintain a stable tank, this coral can be with you through it all. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Once again, I make videos every week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment down below. Also, I've started a Patreon account, so if you'd like to support this channel even more, head over to patreon.com slash the coral reef talk. Follow me on Twitter, and on Snapchat, and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.